We've been up talking to members of Congress and talking to the business community. We've got the widest, broadest support across the economy, the technology companies, manufacturers, service companies, virtually the entire agricultural sector, all in favor of this agreement, including some pretty untraditional uh, supporters. You've got uh, the textile industry for the first time in its history supporting a trade agreement, as well as the apparel importers. And all that's because this trade agreement eliminates 18,000 taxes on our exports. And members of Congress are beginning to understand that. And we see a lot of support up there for this agreement. Handicap it for us. It's a 80% chance, 50% chance. Well, I'm always reluctant to give. Uh, I'm always reluctant to give numbers. It's really up to the congressional leadership to decide uh, to bring it forward. If they bring it forward, I think we can get the votes there. With trade so unpopular, I find it hard to believe that any current politician would want to use any political capital on this issue when both the left and the right are campaigning on being against trade. Well, trade votes have always been hard, and certainly this has been a uh, particularly challenging environment. But I think the key thing is that the rest of the world isn't just standing by, uh, whether it's China negotiating its own trade agreements or uh, the EU or Canada or Australia or others. They're going to move ahead and get access to these markets at our expense. And our market share is actually going to decline in some of these important, fast-growing and large markets. And so it's awfully important that we show leadership, that we're on the field, uh, and that we make sure that we're getting access to these markets and defining the rules of the road in a way that reflects our interests and our values. Either we're going to define the rules of the road or China is, and it can't be in our interest for that The to economic happen. argument for trade is that the larger your potential customer base, the greater your scale can be. That leads to more specialization and, th in theory, better sales. Why hasn't that message worked, or why has trade become so unpopular, do you think? Well, look, I think there's a lot of very legitimate concern out there in the American public about wages, about income inequality. Um, and we know that as a, an economy, we're producing more manufactured product now than we ever have in our history. But we're doing so with fewer workers, and that's largely because of automation. And you can't vote on automation. You can't really even vote on globalization, but you can vote on trade agreements. So they become the scapegoat, the, the vessel into which people pour their legitimate economic insecurities. And we need to separate that out and demonstrate that trade agreements is how you shape the global economy and make sure that we have a level playing field on which to compete. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.